before you can get to that point where you can canvas the literature and ask a question and initiate a project, you really have to have the basics of biochemistry, genetics, molecular biology under your belt. Not just the basics, you've got to learn the terminology. I mean, someone who reads one of our scientific papers, you know, after the second, third word, they're lost. I mean, it's all jargon. And so before you can even get into the, 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 um, the research, you've got to understand the jargon. So, you know, school's important. Um, but once, once you have that jargon and that basic education under your belt, and you understand the jargon, and, and you're getting interested in science, I think the first thing is to read a paper, read something that interests you. And when you've read that, just what are the questions, what questions come to your mind? So, so you can, I mean, I can do this almost in any area, not even just in my area, is you read a paper and you say, huh, I wonder if, or I wonder why, okay? So then if you wonder if, you say, okay, so what if I do this, I switch this, or I do this first or that second, or, and, and it's just, it's very logical to me, and uh, it's hard to explain, but it's just, um, you, you, you just look at it and you say, well, what if this was different? Or what if you had this cell line instead of that cell line? And, and pretty soon you're doing an experiment. And you just have to make sure you have all the controls <laughs> so you can repeat the previous experiment and add to it. But um, it's just asking questions and, and, and figuring out how you would plan the experiment to answer the question that you're interested in.